Hey, hey, hello. Welcome here. I thought I'd show you guys a, a special place. It's located at the hospital. And there's like this high hill you can climb up. There's a nice view. So I thought I'd take a, a walk, you know, basically, because the sun is about to go down and get some exercise. This is the first stop. It's the, uh, it's like a resting place. And you have like these, uh, oh, I'll put down my headphones. But you have like this, it looks like a, you know, a normal kind of farmland, but it's actually a marsh. You see those kind of in the distance, there's like this walkway. Because if you walk outside that, you kind of, <laughs> kind of sink into the water. So they actually, there's like, behind that, Tree line over there is like uh, the river, what do you call it? Like a, yeah, a small little river that leads out into the bigger, bigger body of water. Yeah. So there's where we're going up that hill. Uh, see you there. <laughs> this is a great way to get some exercise. There's one thing that doesn't come across camera, but it's like you can't really see how steep it is. <laughs> but the hill is that this hill is like at, a, at the angle, that degree of angle that kind of makes you work your thighs a bit and legs. And you can really hear it on my voice, actually. You know, strain on everything. Nice. That's beautiful. That's the great thing about Sweden, man. You know, when it gets closer to spring and and summer and stuff, it's almost like uh, all around the clock it's almost sunny. And then in the northern part of Sweden, actually, in the summertime it never gets dark. It's something to do with the. Uh, being too close to the polar circle or whatever. So you actually have, in the summer you have light all, and 24 hours. And then in the winter it's the opposite. It's dark, no sun at all. So I can't understand people living there. I mean, the nature is awesome, but like the, the lack of sunlight, I'll go crazy. You know, like you don't know what time it is of the day. Is it day? Is it night? <laughs> uh, kind of stupid. That's how nature works, I guess. Beautiful in its own way. Can't take that, that away from her. So, finally, arriving at the campsite, almost at the top of the, uh, the hill. Power lines, and phone lines, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, here we go. In Labakian, Heavenly Hill or something like that. Super bad translation. Oh, here you go. It's a nice view. Try to go down the hill. <laughs> Try not to break your legs. It's kind of like a very steep one. I don't think it's a good one. I should be doing everything else before. I guess that's part of it. The whole thing, the whole... Ooh, what do you uh, live a little day though sometimes? In other words, you don't live at all. Yeah. Ooh, Jesus. It's actually kind of funny. Some while ago there was snow everywhere and they had like these ski ski trails for long distance skiing. But now all of it's gone. Snow melted in a couple of days and I don't know. That's how things work. And, uh, 
Okay, we have the factory. Well, it's not a factory, but you know, it's a like a thermal plant. And they, they make heat, I guess, for the households, for the uh, inhabitants. <laughs> There's the jogger, the jogging man. Huh. Didn't remember there were cows here. I mean, there's some marshland, but I, I guess they're clever enough not to go through the... <sighs> go into the water. Maybe it isn't that sinkable. Maybe it's just my imagination or just, you know, being a kid and just like, yeah, you been told don't go out there because it's like... How do you translate that? I don't know. <laughs> Probably like a puddle of water or something. Large quantities of piles of water. Yeah. We have like these wooden planks that even step into the marshland, I guess. The plank goes. I imagine there'd be a lot of birds here in like spring, summer. Ideal nesting areas, I guess. It's kind of funny also, I know that this place used to be a dump back in the day. I don't know how far back, but well enough. But it's actually kind of strange how, how nature works because you don't see any trash or maybe it was like old industrial waste that like not as today but you know not like plastic or carbon fiber stuff maybe like more like natural trash and it's easier to like for nature to break down that stuff i don't know it's just speculating but wildlife and nature is kind of amazing how it all works very calm very soothing I mean, there are some people out, as I said before, jogging and maybe even biking now when it's like no snow. Now you're coming up on it. It's actually some bodies of water. And here's some indication of it actually being a lot of large mass of water up ahead. Some some greens that actually grows closer to to water, I guess. I don't know, it's really cold though. <laughs> Starting to freeze my fingers a bit. But it's worth it. That was cool. I like I like that kind of like it looks like rock or something, but it's actually water. That's cool. Very deep. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll, tr I'll try the ice. You know how hard can it be? Like, no one is around. Just walk out of that ice and try my luck. <laughs> oh, I'm super stupid. Yeah. I mean, sun is almost down. Ah. It's worth it. Some more resting areas with benches and, and stuff. I mean, it's much nicer to come here like in the summer and spring when it's a little more green. I guess when the cows are out. <laughs> I think you can almost see it. There's like the, the water up ahead. Someone has burned something. Maybe someone is here. <laughs> I 
I did not plan for this. And it was a long time since I was in front of a, a live fire. How soothing though. Too bad I don't have any hot dogs. Fingers off. Okay. Ooh, this looks dangerous. <laughs> this is even more thinner. The size is thinner, I mean. Maybe because it's like a, a large body of water and it's like... So calm, so cool. Yeah. Whew. Well, I need to head back now because it's really cold and I'll freeze my finger, <laughs> fingers off. <laughs> Have a good one.